there are two types of motion of the earth rotation and revolution in rotation the earth rotates on its own axis and it completes a one rotation in 24 hours and it rotates west to east and from the rotation the day and the nights are formed on the earth in revolution the earth revolves around the sun in its elliptical orbit or it is also known as the earth orbit and it completes a one revolution in 365 days and 6 hours and from the revolution the seasons are formed on the earth now we will talk about the how the seasons are formed on the earth So our earth is tilted at 23.5 degree angle and in the March 21 and 22 the earth position in this so this is called spring equinox in this so the day and the night the time is equal and the direct sun rays falls on the equator that's why the solar radiation is same in the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. In June 21 and 22 the earth position in this so this is called summer solstice. in this the, in the northern hemisphere there will be summer and 6 month day and in the southern hemisphere there will be 6 month night and a winter and the north pole is pointed to the sun because of the earth treated action and the incoming solar energy is greater in northern hemisphere and the days are in the northern hemisphere the days are longer and the days uh, nights are shorter and in the southern hemisphere the days are shorter and the nights are longer and in the northern hemisphere the in the northern hemisphere there is a summer solstice and in the southern hemisphere the, there is winter solstice and the direct sun is falls on the tropic of cancer and in this um, september 22 or 23 earth which in this so this is called autumn equinox in this the day and the night time is equal and the direct sun rays falls on the equator that's why the solar radiation is equal in the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere in December 21 and 22, the earth position day, so this is called winter solid day. In this, the earth, the, the, the earth south pole is pointed to the sun and the, because of the earth tilted axis and in the south northern pole, there is, a, in northern pole, the, there was six month day, night and in the uh, winter and in the south, south pole, there will be six month day and the summer. And in the northern hemisphere, there will be the, the day nights are longer and the days are shorter. And in the southern hemisphere, the days are longer and the nights are shorter. And uh, the direct sun rays falls on the tropic of Capricorn. That's why the solar energy, the incoming solar energy, is greater in the southern hemisphere. Now we will talk about the moon. So as you all know, the moon is a one natural satellite of Earth. And uh, the moon has a face, and the face is what means a shape of a moon, which is a sunlit portion of a moon and which is seen from the earth uh, and gradually changes is known as face shape. So there are eight faces of the moon. So for new moon, waxing crescent, first quarter, waxing gibbous, third uh, full moon, waning gibbous, third quarter, waning crescent, then new moon. If you all look at the moon, so from the new moon to the full moon, the sunlit portion of a moon is increasing. And from the full moon to the new moon, the moon solid portion is decreased. So these are the eight phases of the moon. Now I will talk about the eclipse. So the eclipse word means a celestial body, which is covered by another celestial body, it is known as eclipse. So there are two types of eclipse, solar eclipse and lunar eclipse. In solar eclipse, there are four parts, partial eclipse, total eclipse, annular eclipse and hybrid eclipse. In solar eclipse, the moon is in the middle and the sun is blocked by the moon and the shadow of the moon which is falls which falls on the earth and the darkest shadow is known as umbra and which are deflected are known as penumbra. And in the lunar eclipse, there are three parts, partial eclipse, total eclipse and penumbral eclipse. In this, the earth is in the between of the moon and the sun and the moon is in the shadow of the earth. And from the sun, there is a white light which coming to the earth and it has seven colors known as vipure. And due to the earth atmosphere, the blue light is scattered and remaining light goes at the back. So if the glow at the moon, if you can see in this photo, the moon looks like a red moon. And the red is, uh, looks like a red moon and the red uh, light uh, glows at the moon. And it's not happens in a monthly because of the earth moon tilted orbit. And in the solar eclipse, the sun is blocked by the moon and the moon is in the between and it happens in a day. And in the lunar eclipse, the moon is in the shadow of the earth and the earth is in the between of the sun and the moon and it happens in night. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.